Here's an interesting uh, topic because, uh, speaking of uh, sexual misconduct allegations, there have been long standing rumors about Trump partying with Russian hookers. Remember this? <laughs> this was supposed allegedly during uh, a 2013 trip to Moscow. But his ex security chief has testified that someone did offer to send five women up to his room in Russia, but the offer was rejected. Now, I, I have to say, I am actually. Uh, in agreement. I believe this. I believe this story. Now, I could yeah. be wrong and I could hate myself in the morning, but I'm going <laughs> to but I'm going to give Trump the benefit of the doubt here that this uh, bot because I I don't know. I just feel like I don't think let's it's give style. it because the because the bodyguard said he went up to the room and put the boy, put Trump to bed, put him in the room, uh, watched, he, he rejected, he rejected the offer, tucked him in, he rejected the offer from the Russians, put him in the room, and he said he, uh, he waited outside a little while, went to his own room, went to sleep, Trump went to sleep. See, I don't so, it, 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 so now, late night, some five hookers are gonna, it just doesn't make sense I don't, to me. I don't care as much about that, those salacious parts of, of the alleged yeah. dossier, right? I, I'm more concerned with whether or not the Trump campaign really colluded or conspired with Russia. That's right. That, that, that's what I'm concerned about. Um, but but I will say this, you know, in, in, in the law business, um, in the investigative business, you got to look at the source. And Keith Schiller, he's the ex-Trump security chief, and he also um, testified, he was also asked about a wide range of issues. He doesn't know anything. He doesn't know about meetings between Trump associates and Russians. He's denied knowledge of many interactions. So he doesn't know anything, even though he was the chief security, uh, uh, the, you know, the chief of security, but he... He remembers the five Russian hookers. So I'm you, not buying it. Well, that yeah, is but, memorable. I'm <laughs> not buying it. I, I do think that when you're the guy at the door, that incident might stand out more because typically these security guards are watching. If the Kremlin the is, is having a uh, you know a, a show of people going in and out of the room, I think but he I should remember a, that too. I have too. a psychological theory as a doctor on the panel. Okay. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. Um, but you do have your internet I, MD. I do. Right. Do. So my theory is that he's more a. a, a more narcissistic so he wouldn't want someone to just provide something he wants to come into a room and everything to fall at his feet so oh. i have a theory that there's a style to this and that that people sending things up i mean he wouldn't like admit, room service is he wouldn't not admit he had to pay for it yeah he, there would be or no money, would be no, because what he can do we've heard about so like he can walk into a room and he'd want to pick it he'd want to say look at what i just brought you know i want to ask me a question mm -hmm. before we go Certainly. do you think that if this allegation That's prostitutes in our president welcome to friday you guys no, no. <laughs> These allegations. I can't catch a break. I cannot catch. That's no, my no, no. Wait for my today. question. I'm just wondering what you think about with the fact that if this were true, let's yeah. say it turned out there were videotape, and we know it's true. Do you think his base would turn on him for nope. that? Nope. Nope. Okay, we'll nope. be right back. No. Bye. <laughs>